All right, so Sean Payton is out as the head coach of the New Orleans Saints. The scumbag himself is stepping away after 16 years with the organization. I'm going to break down everything going on with the story. Who's going to be the new head coach? Why is he stepping away? Could he be moving to a new job in the state of Texas? But if you could first like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you get these daily update videos. Share this video with your friends. It really, really helps the channel out a lot. Huge, huge thank you to everyone. We hit the 100 subscriber threshold. We are growing like crazy. All right, so like I said, Sean Payton is stepping away as the head coach of the New Orleans Saints. He's been the head coach with the Saints for 16 seasons. Wow, 16 years. It's been a long, long time. And not to, it's been a bumpy road, some ups, some downs, some highs, some lows, some cheating, some suspensions. We all know the Sean Payton story at this point. Little surprising move that he decided to step away this late in the game. I mean, it's almost February now. Most teams who have needed a head coach are about to hire their head coach. So he's really put the Saints in a tough predicament on top of everything. He, But I think he just saw the writing on the wall. No quarterback. The Saints are in cap hell. And when I say cap hell, it is cap hell. $47 million over the cap for the New Orleans Saints. This is really, really bad situation. There's no hope with any of the quarterbacks. He knows this. Didn't make the playoffs this year. Knows Taysom Hill's not that really that guy. Knows Trevor Simeon ain't that guy. Probably thinks Jameis Winston really ain't that guy. So he's out. And uh, they got to figure out something in New Orleans. Maybe they hire Eric Bieniemy. That's what I've seen a name linked to New Orleans. But they're really up shit's pet creek without a paddle. It's really, really bad. But typical move by Sean Payton, kind of a scumbag. You know, he cheated to win a Super Bowl. What else is new? I think he's slightly overrated as a head coach. Everyone praises him how great he is. He had Drew Brees. Drew Brees, a Hall of Fame quarterback. Let's let's just look at the Saints. I get it. The New Orleans Saints were a complete dumpster fire of an organization. So he brought some serious stability there. But man, he had a couple three, seven, and nine seasons with this team in a row. Really, really mediocre, unacceptable. You know, they were bad. You know, he was bad when he got there their first year, went to the conference championship game, bad and bad, cheated, won a Super Bowl. Kind of bought him some tails, another playoff loss, playoff loss. Was suspended for the season, we know, for his Bounty Gate cheating scandal. Another playoff loss, 7-9, 7-9, 7-9. Nine, nine, nine. Only started getting really back into the swing of things these last five seasons when he got Alvin Kamara. Hit Alvin Kamara as a third-round pick who's an elite running back. Michael Thomas was great before he went off the fucking deep end. I mean, Michael Thomas is a crazy person. Now, I heard that's another situation that's developing New Orleans. It's really, really bad with him. Missed the entire season this year. He's kind of a head-ass. We know he's a head-ass. Talks all that shit. And he's just slant boy. Old slant boy over there just can only run a slant. So, I think that's another major, major issue in New Orleans. But, yeah, as since he, he really needed to have a monster draft class. But three years of mediocre. So, I think he's a slightly overrated. Let's calm our britches down. You're kind of like the Packers with Aaron Rodgers. You won one Super Bowl with a Hall of Fame quarterback. Let's get over it. You know, kind of underachieved as a team. A um, lot of playoff losses, not a whole lot of playoff wins for a team that's usually the most talented team. I can think of a couple seasons where they kind of let the ball slip there. But that's in the past. He's gone, bounced. He is under contract till 2024, though. The word is the Dallas Cowboys could be looking to make an upgraded head coach. I get it. I mean... Not too happy with Mike McCarthy. I know Jerry backed him, but Jerry's kind of a little wishy-washy on these things. I know that, and I know he loves Sean Payton. Sean Payton, big name. Jerry loves the splash. A lot of ties to Dallas. Sean Payton has a house in Dallas. He was a former Cowboys uh, coordinator. So this could be a thing. Problem is, he is under contract till 2024 with the Saints. Him retiring freezes that contract. You don't, you don't get years towards that contract. So you can't just wait it out until 2025 and get him back. Saints still own his rights, so you're going to have to trade for him, Dallas. And if I'm the Saints, I'm not letting him go for anything cheap. Now, he's obviously not going to go anywhere this year. Probably going to go to a network, you know, maybe school some Drew Brees at NBC on how to be a better <laughs> better broadcaster. Um, but I'm sure any, or, uh, any network's going to want him. Maybe Amazon. Amazon's jumping into the football game next year with the Thursday night games. This would be a big hire, big splash. Get you on there. I'm sure he's going to be a good analyst. He is a head coach. Any head, you can find 99% of head coaches in this league will be good analysts um, in shows. I don't know what is what he is at the mic, but he's used to press conferences. But then again, Drew Brees, some guys, ex players that were good on mics, little clunky uh, when they have to do game analysis, day by day stuff. So you never know what you're going to get out of this. But 
Again, have to trade for him. If I'm the Saints, I'm not letting him go for anything cheap. A minimum first-round pick, probably another player. I did hear some things. Hey, maybe you get Amari Cooper in a first-round pick. You get Sean Payton. I consider it if I'm Dallas. I know they're not very happy with Amari Cooper, the way they're using him in the offense, the way he's producing with his contract. So I could definitely see this. I do love the Saints. I hate this. I do love to see the Saints in a shitty spot now. Hate that team, hate that franchise, but we all know why um, with that. So they're really in bad shape. Sean Payton, typical move. He's going to hold the power. Cowboys, make a move. I think it, you got to get rid of Mike McCarthy. If this is really the move you believe in, go do it. Give up the first round pick, give up the player, and th there you go. You have no excuses now. You got the elite offensive, defensive coordinator, offensive head coach. Go win it with Dak, and maybe Dak will prove that he's the guy or he's just a fraud. You know, we can learn a lot. Who knows? It is what it is at this point with Dak. So we could learn a lot from this. But again, under contract, frozen, not going to really do anything. Jerry might be, you know, swinging, th swinging some things. Peyton is only 58 years old. He's a young man. He's still got 10-plus years of coaching left in him. So he could definitely sit a year or two, you know, let the Dallas thing blow up in their face, and then they hire him in two years uh, or trade for him in two years. Maybe the Saints let things simmer down a little bit. And they let them go for a little bit cheaper after they get some more stability with the organization. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should should Dallas make a move? Is he just go? Is he actually retired, Sean Payton? Is he just going to take a breather? Maybe he's got a new family, wife, and kids. You know, he just wants to chillax a little bit, retire, stress it. Coach is a stressful job, and you can make as much money doing broadcasting, working game. You know, working games. We see it with everybody. They enjoy life. Broadcasters work a great life, and you're still in the football sense. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit this notification bell, share this video with your friends, and I'll uh, see y'all tomorrow.